Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another tutorial in the Roblox game, Oakland's. So last time we grinded a little bit to get the sander. I figure today we will go ahead, we'll show you some of the types of trees here in the mainland. We probably should have used those to grind away out, but we are going to get some money to expand our base. So this tree here's birch. Got the old uh, trusty rusty axe. Again, you can just click. But as you tell with your charge there, it doesn't give you a full power. So you have a choice, you can either just cut it up. And if I hold that down long, it will take a full chop. And again, we can go ahead and we can chop them into little pieces. But since our rusty putter really can't hold much, we are just going to, that one might attach. Oh. Okay, we got one attached. And we can tell it's too big. I'll show you, we can stop it here. Let's go ahead, cut this in half. There we go. So instead of using the handsaw, which does that to the pieces, Sander does it all by itself. And go get the other piece of birch. Now it might be easy to go ahead and do all this. Like how we're hanging off there around the edges. But when we go to take it back, that worked too. <laughs> Maybe. There we go. Sometimes you can get them attached quite uh, interesting. But as long as they attach, that works. We forgot to get another tilted conveyor. So how's everybody's day been? Did you have a good day at school? Was it a good day at work? Maybe you just had the day off and relaxed? Was it overall a good day? I hope it was. Okay, so as we're going down to get another conveyor, we'll just take some of this back. So one of the biggest things that takes time is collecting materials for money. If that's trees, if that's the ores, it all takes time. You go get it, you cut it, or you break up the stone. You come back and you harvest it either on the sander or using the forge. 
well, refinery first. And the forge for doing ores. And ingots. Let's see if we get this last piece. Again, if you can get everything in there to stay. Don't know what the... Oh. That was causing issues. We're just going to move it. And I am on plot four. And just to remind everybody, if this is the first time that uh, you've watched one of the videos, well, welcome. Uh, go ahead, give a like if you like this video. Go ahead, comment down below. And subscribe. What are we waiting for? We're getting up there closer to 150. And if you have subbed, thanks for being here. So anytime you log into a property, you're going to have one of these signs. And like right now, I'm on property four. And it also tells who is on the property. So property four is like right in between the little Y here, where this road takes you up to the bridge for the new island. And you go across, you have to do a little... uh puzzle and we'll show that later uh, this other Y will take you around you'll see the Jurors Junkyard so to get to Oak Depot I'm just going to go this way and if you can find the lighthouse which is right there you're heading in the right direction Oak Depot is right here over along the side is where you take back wood. You can also take it back to Jeer's Junkyard. You just won't get as much. All right, 23, 13. Let's see if we can get to 25. So again, this one's Birch. Oh, we got 2670. That's not bad. Oh, this one. 2720. Not too bad for that little bit of haul. So we are on Finley Island. If you ever want to know a little more about the island, we'll go explore and show you a little more later. In another video, we'll just explore Finley Island. Right here is where you're at. You're here. There's the Oak Depot right there. And then we came up this road. You remember that little Y? There's our property, property four. Oh, and like I said, keep following this up. There's the bridge that gets you to the other island. But that's all in due time. Going here, we are going to get... Uh, probably just one. Got one more tilted conveyor. And yes, Bob, I would like to buy this. So again, I'm going to say no thank you here. I'm going to pick it up. So when you click E, it types. But if you click on this box, it automatically fills it in. And hit Absolutely. And then go ahead and be on your way. Or you can let it go ahead and tell you the same thing. Well, close to the same thing. Every time. All right. So the one we chopped at the very beginning was Birch here in this video. This one here is actually an oak tree. It's fairly common. Some people like looking for willow trees. And 
There's one. Actually, close to our base. All right, to go ahead and open anything, just hover over it and E. Just unbox it. And then I want to line it with this other one. Sometimes you can't get exact. If you get it close, go ahead and place it. And then hit two. And that's going to go ahead and give your arrows. Now I'm just going to move it over. There we go. We're lined up with the other one. So E place object. There we go. And the arrows are all going the same way. Let's see if that's high enough now. It's a little bit hard when your base is really small. Yeah. Not quite. Don't think it's going to be. Give it a try. That's the other fun thing. Sometimes I like to just roll. A couple others here to help push them up. Just want to see if we'll go into the back. Nope. Needs to just be a little bit higher. So the one thing we might be able to do if you click your property here. And then hit the F for selecting it. You see over here the number three you can click on. Or you can hit your number three, the number key. I'm going to see if this will actually tilt. So it looks like the blue is tilting it up. That's a little bit too much. So if you come down here in these degrees... You can lower your studs, and I think I told before, everything is measured in studs. So right now we're at a half a stud. The highest you can go is one. The lowest you can go is 0.25. So we're going to lower our degrees, and that will take us to 11 degree. Yeah, that might work. So let's go ahead and E will place it. It does. And then we're going to go ahead and see if we can select this other one. And then number three again. Do the blue to tilt. And E again. And now we're going to choose it. We're going to try to. There's up here right about there. And then F again. Now let's just go ahead and it's this one. I am going to make that down to 0.25 just to see if this will get us right with the other one. So let's try that. Okay, when your base gets a little bit bigger, you won't have to worry about it. It looks like we are there. That might be too big of a tilt, though. All right. The simple way to, like, load your vehicle on that. At the beginning, probably handling might be the best. Won't take too long here. So this one's the willow. Get our axe here. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and we'll take it back to the base. After a while, all the tops will fall off like that. Willow's got a little bit smaller pieces. So, again, we'll cut smaller. Okay. 
So three cuts, that's not bad. If it's starting to sand it, you probably want to get over the top of your belts just so it can go ahead and pull it right up there. And if you get it close to the joints, like you see the little joint there, like with all these, if we can get it close, maybe right about here. Get in the sweet spot, they'll all fall apart. But I didn't. That's no worries. Oh, okay, so if you don't get that moved, now it's all going to fall out. If you're finishing up the day of playing, maybe you have to do homework, chores, or just done for the day. If you have any logs that have not been sanded, they will not retain on your base. Now, later when we do ores, if you leave the stone and the stones with ore in them, they will stay and retain on your base when you uh, leave and then come back. I'm just putting them over there. Set that there. We are going to take this L for lights. And there's that lighthouse on the, in the distance. So I know all of you, if you've been this far, you're probably tired of bouncing up and down with the rusty putter. That would be one of the other things you'll want to probably be buying at the beginning. And we'll show you right here where to get them. So this piece and that piece looks similar in size. And we're at what? 2240. So 49 for that one. And this one is 39. So while the one's 50, the willow about the same size was 100. Now willow is not as uh, common in the areas. It doesn't spawn as quickly or as much. So it might take a little bit to find them. Uh, it might be worth it. But again, at the beginning, we're just trying to find things that are quick, fast, easy. So if that's getting a whole bunch of oak trees, you might be able to get an extra tree or two by the time to find a willow tree. So again, it's all up to you. Maybe just like relaxing and taking your time. But as you can tell, this little bit we've done right now has taken us almost 19 minutes. So in the Oak Depot, right over here are your vehicles. We have the Fedor putter, which is about like what we have now, but it doesn't bounce if I remember correctly. And that one's 520. We've got the Juke Grand Borrow. We have the Juke Borrow. And we have the Cadillac here, the Selenor Explorer. So that's 18,000. If you look to inspect, it's gonna tell you, Big Mighty holds all your precious goods. So that's 55. What's the one down here? 1520. So not too bad. We could actually get that one right now. And then later, if you feel like you want to get a trailer, you get that here. Just make sure that your vehicle has a hitch. This one does not. 
And I don't think the other Pejord uh, putter has one either. So we are going to sand the rest of it. And I'm going to show you how to expand your land. And then we'll see where we're at in time. Maybe we can try to get one new vehicle. If not, we'll save that for another one. I thought about going and just uh, grinding some money, but I thought sometimes it's nice to see on how long it takes to do all this stuff. I did hit that in the middle, so I won't take it up there. If you ever lose or like drop your truck, flip it over, and you do make it back to your base, to respawn on any of them, we'll have a little button here. To hit respawn, and there it is. A lot of times they'll put these respawners underneath our unloader. Because you got your unloader here, and then you got the loader there going back into your vehicle. That's probably more of an advanced. See all that those go there. We're going to move our truck over. Turn light back on. Yeah, we dropped one. Let's say we did a birch tree. And we're done a willow tree. Let's see if I have time, I'll show you where the bamboo is that was another one that you could get a fairly decent amount of money out of but again it's a little bit further away and if you don't have a good storage to carry a lot back then it might not be worth it it's the biggest thing with grinding Is you want to get money quick. At least you hope to. And depending on the material, the tree will depend on how big it will start sanding. So that's actually cool. That's one solid piece. They used to break them into smaller pieces, so it might be something they've changed, which is actually a good thing. A little straight willow log there. Let's see if we can get in our back here. We just have to get it down to it to sell. Got two. Let's get the last one on there. Put one on and all of them fall off. Now I'm feeling like the last video for the tutorials. If you haven't watched that one? Yeah, that was humorous. There's one. There's two. I'm worried that I'm going to lose it with this one. might just save this one on our base yep yeah i wanted to see on how much we got for all the willow tree come on we got it 
Now, one nice thing about being in here, it's a locking material. Once you sit in your seat for the drivers, anything in that back locks. Wow, 25 minutes. Doesn't even feel like it's been that long. Okay, so one of these long pieces, 3288. Three, five, one, two. So almost 300. 250? Seems our other two should be around 500. Uh, why did that fly that far? Okay. So maybe 4,000 by the time we're done with them. Yep. So that means at least probably a couple thousand for a willow tree. And go ahead and look to see what we were we started. Again, the starting off it's just getting as much material in here to sell. Now something's half the cost and the thing above it is about the same to harvest. Yeah. Probably better to get the thing that you get a little more money out of. That's your egg. No, it's going to fail. I think that's for upcoming holiday event. All right, so 4,000. We'll wait for our truck till next time. We're going to expand our property. Before we do that, we'll go get just a couple pieces of bamboo. So going up towards the bridge. Back on the road there, so we go a little bit faster. There's plot three. We're here. And as you can tell, see how big their plot is? They have probably max sized it. The other thing is, too. You're not going to see this nice fence on ours or yours. This is the privacy fence. So no other players can go on your base. If you have a friend that comes in, normally that would be down because you trust the person because they're your friend. You've already friended them. Otherwise, you just have to go ahead Click this little like first button here, user management, and say this was your person you wanted to show the base. You would just click off the block and you would trust here. That would lower that fence, but they couldn't do anything else. There's the bridge I was talking about to get to the new island. So we just go past that and keep coming up here. What we're going to is called Ook Lake. Wait a second. I passed Ook Lake. I think. I'll say it's the road that's right by no it's to Mike's mines.
might have to do that next time. Just do a little bit of... Well, we'll want to have a better car first. I should have waited this time, but that's okay. Let's see if I'm still going right. Yep, there's a like... Nice good thing that they have the signs. This should be Oak Lake. It is. So around Oak Lake is bamboo. So all these little shoots are bamboo shoots. Let's see here. We had three. So one. Two. Two. Two and a half, maybe. I'll put that back. There we go. Again, the difficult part with a small truck. Yep, two. So Willow was three, Bamboo's two. Let's just cut it in half here just to try to get a few pieces on. Since we're up here, we'll grab a few. Probably will not take it back to sell. We will at least sand it. And we can keep it for next time. If you're able to angle them like that, you might be able to get three. Let's take a little bit taller one. Since we're already up here. So we're already over a half an hour. That gives a little bit of time perspective for this game. It does take a bit to do all this. So again, bamboo isn't too bad. And if I remember right, you get a good amount back per stud. But the amount that you would have to have, you would have to take multiple trips. And that's another one of them things where I was saying we're looking to grind, get money quick. So with that, you want to grab maybe the oak trees that are around you. Instead of taking that whole long trip back here to Oak Lake to get bamboo. Or looking around trying to find a willow tree. Which Let's go ahead and just zoom out here. Okay, so there's a willow tree here and here. But see all these other trees? There's none. There's the bridge. A little tree up there. You got palm trees down here. But again, if you're starting off, I would probably try to find a server that doesn't have many people. Another willow tree there maybe one or two people. So then you could get base one or two. Another willow. Because on base one or two, you're closest to the Oak Depot. Unless you want to go to the junkyard, you don't want to unload, then I would take base six. Base six is right below Jure's junkyard. Or base four, that's where we're at right now. And now you'd have to do is go a little bit over. 
get to the junkyard. I would not really advise just selling raw material unsanded. I mean, maybe at the very first time before you even have a sander or a regular handsaw. Again, that's why I wanted to make some of these. I'm just going to respawn. Let them fall. Just going to go over here and get these onto sand. Or beside them. So I got four pieces of bamboo. They're going to wait to sell them next time. But we'll have them all here. So, to go ahead and expand your base. You got your base here. This is your first beginning. So, if you go, I have to remember <laughs> hit your property button. And then right here, it'll say expand property. So, once you click that, it's going to go by stud. So one stud 750, next one 1500. So it looks like per stud costs you 750. I will just to show you how big your base does get. So if you're ever wondering, when you're starting off, how big you can get your base. The biggest you can get is 165 studs. And you look at this little square. This is how big max property is. Oh, and this is how much it costs. $123,750. We do not have that. So let's go ahead and cancel. And I think a good amount, probably as much as you can do right now, 3,000, 3,750. So that will take about all of our money. Because can't do 45. Doesn't look like much, but we're adding a little bit. Let's go ahead and confirm it. We saw it get bigger. And that's how you expand your base. So thank you for taking your time out of your day, night, to uh, learn a little more about Oakland's. And we will go ahead and see what this gets us next time, because we're at 702 now. Otherwise, everyone, you have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day and night. And we'll see you on the next episode of Beginning Oaklands. Have a good one. Bye now.